How are you? So good to have you just stopping by. And happy Wednesday. I'm so, so excited to be back today with another tutorials. I am really, really, really excited, extremely excited with my sub box and of course with um, Beverly Gels. They were gonna do some of, hey, Jasmine, it's so good to see you. And then we're gonna do like a couple of tutorials for uh, Beverly Gels. And then we probably gonna do it in the uh, short nails. We'll give it a, just a second for everyone to tune in first, and then we're going to start doing tutorial right after. So in front of me, we have a dragon fruit. So I know that a lot of you are getting the dragon fruit. So here is the colors I got in my box, which is watermelon. So I was stoked. It's so excited to see that. And then the color changing is so beautiful. And I also get some of the colors. And just talking about that uh, before we're moving on, like look at that, how huge this I've absolutely beautiful is velvety gels is compared to our 40 gels or others gels. So it's like 12 times of the bigger size than the regulars is um, size that we have. So it means that it gives you so much for your supplies. Like it will give you a good of at least 30 set of this length or is is 50 set of a shorter nail so i got this in my box i also know that a lot of you getting your dragon fruits azures lemonades and nude there's 18 color totally so then a lot of you are probably gonna get so many different variety of different colors gliss want you to have a lot for your sub box to give you you know give you a taste and a try out the box so today we're gonna do a few colors i did this one last time if you miss it don't worry i saved the videos on our um videos on our instagram and also on youtube and you can definitely check them out and this is really cool we're changing totally different colors i was like wow so now we're gonna go in with a dragon fruit today, azures, lemonade, and of course nude. You know that I using my nudes a lot. So I'm gonna share with the different colors because I know a lot of you have different beautiful colors and I want to do that with you as well. So if we have time, we're gonna do is a really a cute, quick, simple, easy of the flowers using omega gels and using some kind of a chrome effects on it. So. Um, let's get started with this because I want to do some foil for my box as well. A lot of you will get several different designs on the box, on your uh, sub box. Glyph love it because then a lot of us have all different designs. I got this one and there are a lot of you will have a different designs as well. So it's, it's so cute. doesn't matter whatever colors you get. So I have a shorter nails this time a lot of you request for the shorter nails if you are nail lovers or beginner nail tech or you have a lot of clients that have a shorter nail so this is gonna be a perfect so i already applied the base gels and i cure just finished curing for 10 10 seconds already so when you are using a beige uh velvety gel only you need this bestie of a beige of the velvety gel is the beige gel you don't need anything else no other solution needed it so then that's why it will able to bond so well together it's not breaking out your product so i just drop a couple of drop right on the plates right here of the beige gel so it can work with like four nails right here so let's get some um dragon fruit out and then see what's up with that one it's so beautiful color. So you don't need to like really stirring it at all. And I am going to, what I'm doing it with the velvety gel to avoiding a lot of air pocket because just in case that you were stirring it stuff, uh, all you need to do is just scoop. And I usually scoop it right in on the edges. And then I just like move along when I'm moving it to the second nail, third nail, fourth nail to the end of a set. If the client's doing the uh the same colors so small amount you keep in mind you can always do more i mean pick more of the um velvety gels supply if you need it during the time you apply 
And don't worry about when you look at it like this. You're like, oh, it looks, it's really, really cool. When you put it even on the uh, natural nails, even it's easier and it's better as the body temperature would definitely soften your velvety jowls. When you're getting your velvety jowls, it might do a shipping. It's like getting kind of a cozy in a package. You give it like to the room temperatures, you know, it settles. And then when you put it on the um, the natural nails, I had the body uh, temperature will soften it and it will do all the magic trick for you. So now I'm not sure if you can see where is my beige gels right here. And if you wonder, how do I just uh, manipulating it with this? So I'm going to move this on the side so it won't get in the way. And then here I am going to submerging right here. You can see that. Let me move these two nails on this side. Submerging. The beige gels don't need a whole lot just to get your bristle not sticky. So then those is going to be bond and also it will blend and manipulating your velvety gels is nicely and smoothly. And all you need to do is you don't have to really go aggressive, just really gentle and it blend it to wherever if you are doing an ombre is several different ways to do ombre you can able to um blend it and ombre so i am going to keep my bristle like flat to the nails plate and then blend it to the free edges and just remove the excess of the velvety gel Nice and easy. That's it. And definitely you can, if you want to, to make sure that is nice and easy, even you can definitely just turn it hands upside down for like a couple seconds and before you keying. So I am going ahead and placing under the LED lights for 60 seconds to get a full key on this nail. So do the same thing if you are doing it all 10 nails or five nails, do them first and then uh, full key it, okay? So I am a go ahead and cleanse my bristles off because if you're doing it with all the clients, I would suggest clean it too so then you don't have a residue from one nails that you did to the next nail, even though they're same colors. Um, and then on this, tutorial we are doing a several different colors i'll make sure my bristle is off clean off from that dragon fruits colors so close this so today we want to do like a basic applies on the nail so let's try nude colors the velvety gels is really simple you're just using if you don't have an e-file when you're using um you can using the um the just the manual files 100 and 180 degree. You can go a little bit more like it's 100 and 100 degree, uh, 100 and 100 degrees, but not when you're getting closer to the natural. So when you break, remove the bulk, it's completely, pretty much is removed really good and fast. And then you can able to soak it or you can automatically is with, with your e-file and remove, it's going to come off. And keep in mind, we're not going it down to the natural nails because we have a beige gels and under the velvety gel to protect your natural nails. So you like can able to soak off faster. And then also when you do any of the colors, there are no issue of stain or anything on your nails at all. So yeah, so it's really easy. When as soon as you remove the box, it will come off really fast. So I am going to using your nude. Yeah, my nude is like using a lot as well. Oh, before we moving on to the next one, I just want to show you how cool it is changing because it was under LED lights. It's kind of a little bit warmer, so it's changing to lighter. So it means that if you're wearing on a natural nail, so you're on a nail plate, so you're going to have a lighter color. And then on the free edges tips, you're going to get a darker color. So it gives you a really cool of a tone ombre look. So I'm going to move it on the sides and moving on the nude. So nude colors, it doesn't, it's not glow in the docks as well as it's not uh changing color because that one is not but any others 
I'm gonna show you it later. It it changing. So when it say it changing on the bottles when you are receiving your sub box, it will tell you if it's like glow in the docks or it is the regular. I love them all. So all right. So I'm gonna get a smaller. This is just a smaller because it's it's shorter nails. However, you know you can do a little bit more or less. It depends on the length and the shape of your client's nails, okay? So with this is short nail, so we don't need that much. So that's why I say it. with this jar, it will give you a absolute approximate good, like about 50 set of a short nails that what I'm doing it right now and a 30 for the longer length. So now I am submerging my bristle in the bay gels. I don't need it had it's like load and saturate a lot with the bay gel. We just need it so the bay gels and a velvety gel can talk to each other without like fighting, you know, so they can blend it nicely. So the bristle will not stuck into uh, velvety gels and it can guide velvety gels going to the north, south, west, or east without like fighting. So I am going to flatten my bristle and blend, blend, blend. Just, you don't have to do the one, even it's really cool when you do it on your nails or your clients now, even it flow like effortless. So you pretty much don't have to do much. You just only need to do a taper from the left to the right to make sure that they were not going, you know, off track, but then they are going like a flow nicely for you. So when you feel like your bristle need to get a little bit more of the beige gel, so then you can able to manipulating your velvety gel, go ahead and do so. And then it's really gentle, blend, 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 and remove the excess is velvety gel that you don't want, which is actually just a little bit. So now we just give you an idea. So if you're doing your first nail for clients or your nails, as this length, you feel like, oh, I get a little bit extra. So next time you know how to get a little bit less of your velvety gel so you don't waste your products. Um, as I said, you always want to do a smaller portion, smaller beads first. And then anytime if you want extra, you can always get some more. So now we are going to ready to cure this for 60 seconds. Hold on. That's we just finished with the nude colors. I am going to wipe off my bristles again because I don't want a residues of a nude color to go into the next colors. I am going to share with you. Moving on, the next one I have is beautiful lemonade. I love that colors. I love all of them because it's really cool that it's glow in the dark. And this one is also my favorite. Even it's not glow anything, but I don't care. I like nude so. It doesn't matter at all. But then also you can do these two colors. If you do have a lot of you own those two, you can do ombre, beautiful, beautiful ombre. So lemonades here. And then we are going to do in your short nails as well. And um, this is a short nails. Then we're going to get just the smaller portions of smaller beads of lemonade. As I say, if you are doing it, let your uh, bottles, let jar is settle like this. And when you do 10 nails, you're going to do one scoop here. Next nail, you're going to do next scoop here. Next nail, you're going to move. So you're just moving around until you finish all 10 nails. And then guess what? When you finish one client, close the leads and then let it settle and it'll go back into exactly like this. So it doesn't have any of it issue or troubleshootings with bubbles or air pockets or anything because you are not as um, irritated and then it's just, it's just like stirring it up so much. So I'm going to get the smaller beads again because we do short nails. If you see that I get a lot of bigger beads when I'm doing a longer nails for you for a lot of tutorial before. Uh, but if you need more, you can absolutely add some more. And also on each nail, I do just to make the process faster. I already applied the beige gels on the on the base. Like of course, when you do a manicure, make sure you are going to um, prep the nails, doing a dry manicure, clean up, remove all the cuticle, push up the cuticle, push back the cuticles, and then do your uh, preps first. Then you are going to apply your velvety gel. So now I am go ahead. And using the beige gels again. 
so then I can able to direct and manipulating the lemonade velvety gel going to the way I want it. I want to just show you just a really a simple that how you apply. This is great for beginner nail tech, great for nail lover, and then for someone who is love to have some enhancement nails but don't want to do any with the acrylic yet. Or for a lot of beginners that really want into like a lot of dramatics and like um custom nails that you have to build structures and everything this is would definitely a great transitioning from this when you're getting a really good at this your liquid and powder it, of course then you have to work with the system liquid and powder to is perfect your ratio but then you already know how to build structure of your nails buying it with your velvety gels and it's so effortless and you can see that it just self level itself i pretty much don't have to do and here's the best thing about it you don't have to worry about oh my gosh just setting is setting it will not go anywhere until you are clear under LED lights so you have time to like oh this one have a little bumps you know you can blend it out you can blend it out so it's not like unlike acrylics we have to really move it fast or else the setting time is up and you gonna stuck with your big bumps there until you're master of it but this one will give you ability of to getting a room to definitely a perfect and improve your crafts you know all right so lemonade we're gonna cure this beauty for 60 seconds all right and how do you do ombre with these how do i do ombre is a great question um, I have a lot of videos for that ombre. We're going to definitely post it up. I have a lot. I have a hundred of hundred of videos with the velvety gel. Please check them out. Um, there are survivals on YouTube as well. You can type it in simply. Glitz velvety gel ombre. It pop up so many videos for you. Uh, we are going to do it in another tutorials when we do ombre velvety gels, like in the next tutorials. Um, however, if you want to see like now, now, like instantly, we have it on um tiktok also we have it on youtube we also have it on facebook and we have it on the instagram uh and what other page that we have i think yeah but if you want instant now 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 we have a lot of videos so please check them out, them out. you just type it in type it in like either your hashtag glitz velvety gel or um tutorials with uh glitz velvety gel it will pop up so many videos for your preference and then if you can't find any of them just by any reason just don't hear this to dm us our team will grab the link as well for you okay so but i love it the ombre velvety gel is just the most easiest one on earth that i'm saying it so i'm gonna do it take a look this one how it change the color Ooh, the dragon fruit and then nude is doesn't change but then lemonade it changes it lighter and then wait until we'll put it under the like turn off the light you see how cool it is glow in the dark so i'm gonna leave this one here for you to look but they still have a little bit tacky layer we're gonna clean them all after we finish with this i want you to take a look with azores I'm, this is so beautiful and i'm gonna do that once on this nail so we have four nails four looks for the velvety gels i know a lot of you getting so many beautiful different colors of velvety gel so again i am Picking smaller again for all of you just tuning in. Welcome, welcome to Glee's Accessory and Such live tutorials. And we're going to the third, fourth colors right now of Beverly Gel, which is in your beautiful sub box this month. And each month with different content. So if you miss one month, the next month will be different. It's not going to be repeat the Beverly Gels. And this month, Glitz love you to have an experience because you have experienced it before with the smaller trial size of Beverly Gel. But this is no kidding, no joking, nothing at all. It's a real deal. It's a huge jars of the velvety gel. So don't miss out on one of this and experience it. And like, oh my gosh, you know, you are so right, Nancy. So it was really my blows when I start working with the velvety gels. It does definitely is make it so much easier for me when I'm working without having to get in really a struggling and hard with the acrylics i love acrylic too absolutely it was nothing like acrylics but it's another 
opportunity, another is service, another menu you can add it on for your uh, service. You know, like just look at all a different, even you go into Starbucks. Who loves Starbucks? I love Starbucks. Like you go to Starbucks, it used to be just a coffee. Now they have like kick pop. Now they have croissants. They have all different sorts of things that you can just pick it up with your drink. Same thing with your business. Don't just, you know, sleep away with an opportunity to, to improve your skill, your craft, and then add it on the menu. The more option you give it to the clients, the more, the easier your clients will able to select and give them a variety so they can able to enjoy their nails without having to stuck with one thing. You introduce a lot of new things, and then this is not hard for you to master your craft at all. So now you can see that I blend it, and then now, if you need some more of the velvety gel, I'm so glad that I get. That. And then now you can add it some more, just a little bit more if you want. And then also if you're getting too much, you feel you can always add it and like you can always remove it. But add some more on. Okay. So this is a cool thing about, and it's going to blend so well together. I'm going to close this. Make sure when you work with the clients, you know, I love to talk to my clients as well. And we're always chat and you know, talking, everything. But then make sure you can be like a little bit cluttery, messy when you're working with the clients. But make sure all the gels, bottles, uh, velvety gel, gel bottle, beige gel, top coat, everything. Uh, Chanfu foil, omega gels, condensed glue gels, top coat, precision glue gel, cap on. It will thanks to you by the end of appointment. You don't want to destroy all of your products or you end up having like buying a new one, which is we don't want it. We just want to enjoy what we're doing, work hard, and able to take care of family and making a good living, you know, as a really a talented netflix. All right, so blend, blend, blend. Remember, you don't have to do really aggressive. When you see me doing a lot on the top down from the camera, I promise with you, you do. It doesn't have to take so much effort to do it. All you need to do, if I show you on the side, basically I'm doing it really a feather touch, like just blend it like this. And my bristle is parallel with my nail plates, so then that way it will blend your velvety gel nicely without pulling them away. All right, so now it ready. So we are going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. I'm mining the, okay, so here's is something I see. I can using the tip of my bristle and blend a little bit on the cuticles, you know, like it's just blend, blend, blend. So the cuticles will not look really thick when you are going to buff and shape and final. It doesn't give you a hard time. All right. So now is Kia 60 seconds. Clean my bristles. <clears throat> How is everyone doing today? Happy Wednesday. Thanks so much for stopping by. Who is first time tuning in? Welcome, welcome to all of the Gliss lover been with us for almost five years. Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's taking a couple minutes out from your times and join with me. I hope these videos will bring some tip and trick for you, even at least one tip and trick. So I'm going to move this one on this size and... Also clean it as well. And let's recap this one after we keep. I'm going to close it because we don't use anything, but we are going to back with the ombre as well. I am absolutely really, really love the velvety gels. Um, it's really effortless. So this is the one I received in my box. I can't wait to see which one is in your box. Also, there's 18 colors of it. So a lot of you will get lemonades. A lot of you get dragon fruit. So enjoy it for me because I get watermelon. So I'm going to enjoy it for you if you don't have a watermelon. A lot of you will get azures. And I want to put all the colors that you will see. Um, oh 
this one. Oh my gosh, this is so as well. Look at this. It's ombre. Like if you're wearing it, it's become a really cool ombre as well. Oh, talking about the ombre velvet is is going to like ombre for you if you're wearing your as um glow in the dogs. So this is is a lot. It will come with there's 18 colors. So like sky bling, pure white, crystal clear blushing, nude, milky white. That's the colors. And then also this one is which one I got? Oh, this one is crimson and I think a dragon fruit on this one. And then lemonade. So crimsons, deep blue, violet, dragon fruit, orange, lemonade. This has so many beautiful colors. And then no, I think I think I got them wrong one. Lemonade, dragon fruit, something, something. But I know Azul's is on the third one. Oh no, here, this one, wrong one. Yep. So this one for Azul's right there. And then the others, grape, raspberry, cherry, blueberry, watermelon. That's the one I got. And lemonade. So I'm so excited. Um, we'll put it that one on the side. But here's this my. Oh, you take all the color away so now it's still tacky if you are like notice that so we are going to using 99 percent alcohol and just remove all that is tacky sticky layer off so then you can able to reshape it there's a great thing about the velvety gel it is when you're manipulating it it pretty much it does all the work for you like it's building structure for your nails and then only you need to do is reshaping them and buff, clean up the kitty cores that need it. So I'm going to just shape it simply. This is going to be perfect for you to have a lot of clients like having like really cool spot length, short, medium, medium, short, even long or extra long. It doesn't matter what shape your clients is going to do. You're going to really enjoy this process of the velvety gels and it's no odor and less filing so you're getting like is a good enhancement nails without really is stress and worry about the the ratio of the beads will be perfect or not If you don't have an e-file, it's really simple. Like, make sure when you're doing for clients, just don't get too close to, to the cuticles. Just give it like just a little bit of the hair away from the cuticles. And then using your emery board and find it. And in each box, you have your two files. I have a lot. Every month, I receive two. So... So you can use it for your clients or save it as a box for yourself. And some share, share some of the really cute designs with your clients. Okay. And just using the 180 all the way from the center of the nails. And five it down. So you won't flatten your seekers and your apex, you know. Like fire it down outward. It's funny because I give it the pressures on it and like on the surface it's toning color because it gets to create a little bit of I think I would say is the heat. So, and then we're gonna using the buff and then just buff it. How's everyone doing? I didn't get a chance to look at the screen. So, if you have a questions, um, he'll try to let me know. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna just buff it. And does all of this off. So 
So this is Azor, this nude. This is a, is that a dragon fruit and lemonade. I think you took my my um, Beverly Jones colors away. You want to call it back? Yes, I think so. I'm going to dust it off so then we can do some designs on it. For sure, I'm going to clean it again. I really like it. The colors. This nude. Azure. Lemonade. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what is coming in the box. What colors. We have a lot of emails asking for previous box. When the new box introduced, the old box is no longer is available. So if you love your boxes so much, you're going to get a, a great um, try of your velvety gel. I was definitely suggest to grab one of them. Just the box itself, when we were getting it, is only pay for everything. And it's great investment with the real deal. I think I mean dragon fruit. I need dragon fruit. So Azure Nude Lemonade. And then this is the dragon fruit. All right, so let's do some fun nails here. We're done with the foundations, which is the uh, velvety gels. And then we're going to do some cute funs and see what's up. Okay. I'm going to do this kind of a, a lot. Sometimes you see me doing all the different designs and ready for you, but then... I also like to do a lot of spontaneous designs. Sometimes I get it all outlined for you and I completely change the designs, like out of nowhere, but I like it. So let's see what we are going to. This one is cute though. Okay, they're also cute though. So we'll see. So let's do some um, uh, premium chant for voice on this one first. If you're having really hard time or your foil is like blotchy and it's not chanfer for you, this Bessie will definitely is going to back you up every single time. You don't necessarily have to do anything. No, you don't have to put the beige gels. If you need it, if you're working with the Glitz products together, you don't need to add the base gels on if you want to, uh, definitely. But if you want to add something else and a different colors, you will definitely. So I'm just basically using the primer to just like, um, basically it's help to remove completely. Like if you have any extra dust or anything, the oily on it, it will definitely remove it completely for me. So I'm go ahead and using is premium I hold chan for foy. Should I do all of them though? One, two, three, four. It looks cool though. We can. Because those, a lot of you will get that in the box. All right. One coat and 30 seconds here. And then another coat. I'm going to do it on and see what it is. Make sure you apply it all. Sometimes I was doing under the camera and I don't apply all of the nails. And guess what happened? Surprise. It will not chamfer if it doesn't have your premium I hold chamfer voice on the top. Hope you all having amazing and fabulous Wednesday. And thanks so much for joining with me today. Maybe should I save this one? Maybe I should save this one for Omega Gel. 40 gels. I'll leave it here. All right. So this is Azure is done. Let's see. Is it right? It's nice and easy. Give it a quick rub. So if you don't have the tweezers, using your um, fingers and I give it a good like rub. Press it down nicely, including in the crease right here where your cuticles area is. Keep in mind, if you don't apply your premium I hold chance for to your um, cuticle areas, when the nails it is not going to chanfer. But if you do, it chanfer pretty much everything. If it's missing, put it back. 
like a Becca and a chamfer everything for you. And oh, this one. Oh, no, 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 it's so sticky. All right, so this one. Oh, this one is cute though. It's cool. I wanted this one. Let's try this. Make sure I don't do it like, uh, um, I mean, inside out. If you're doing it the other, like one time I did live, I think I did the opposite size and it doesn't chamfer. So why it doesn't chamfer? It's the wrong size. But you can really tell because the other one, it looks matte looks and it looks fake. And... Okay, good rub. Ready? Everything. Shine for everything. Second beauties right here. A lot of you will get this design. A lot of you get this design. I have the flame one that I did it for you the other day when we did live videos. So I'm so excited which one you are going to get. This one is cute though. I like that one. So we're going to do... You know what? When you're doing your foil, you don't have to do exactly. You can pick any spot. If you don't want any flowers, you don't have to. Just getting other spots, whatever you prefer. Give it a good rub. If you have your um, tweezers, which is is one of my besties doing it, anything like pretty much everything. Like even I can pick the crystal with this. Some of the crystal I need it. If you have a little bit of when you have a longer nails and you want to pick the crystal for precise look, this is going to become really handy also. And it's really sharp. That's why I put the cap on it. I'm always going to poke in. It's going to be really hard. Ready? Oh, the leaf is like, hey, I don't want to be here. Tip, I put the leaf back in. It's all off. That one and then this one i'm gonna do some uh omega gel for you okay shortly so hang with me all right so now as i say when you're seeing the videos that we're doing you can stop at any step like say if the clients that come in and see i don't want anything else i just want this color beautiful great top coat if the clients want a shiny top coat put the shiny top coat on if the clients want matte top coat do matte top coat so you can end at any step when you're watching our tutorial so but then the clients who oh, i want some couple of designs on if you're running some special promotion for clients some designs like a foy for instance they do two rings finger and then you can top right now you can top at any step remember don't have to go all the way unless the client's like hey i want everything on it but if you stop it right here you can do either matte top coat finish or the shiny top coat finish and key under led lights when you're using your gel um polish and but this we can add some like crystal on just a little crystal on if you want to i'm gonna do just a little cute halos like um around the kitty core because the design is so cute you can add some more on but i want to give you some ideas of you can do some cute simple things so we are going to using is the definitely the bestie when you're doing your crystal designs and it will never betray on you at all this is condensed glue gels, no wet top coat, and precision glue gels. If you're having a hard time or your crystal keep like not listening to you, this three will definitely nail it down and will keep all your crystal last up to four and plus a week. Okay, so I'm gonna do using the twin tip brush. I'm gonna using my mix, uh, little mix cute bags for my sub box. I love it because then glitz keep getting better and better. Give you a lot of things that you can play. Not only doing it for your nails when you have in time for your nails, and or if you're doing your clients, you pretty much have a lot of good supplies for a good month of all the ideas you are going to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Apply a good layer of a condensed glue gel, not too thick, not too thin. Too thick, you are going to flood your crystal. Too thin, you are going to not able to hear your crystal properly. So floating, the no wet top coat. So do not hear your condensed glue gel yet. Floating your top coat on the top. I opened it so I didn't want to show it's under as it's going to spill because I just opened it. 
And now we are going to using the crystal pickers. I My crystal pickers, like you can see that I've been using my crystal picker for a long time. Even the letters just rub up, but they works definitely. As long as you keep your tip of this is good and don't let anyone touch it and drop it on the floor because those is going to destroy it. So just be, be careful. And I'm going to add just this one. It looks so cute and perfect. It's really simple. So you can having so much fun with this. And of course, I have a mixed jar right here, a mixed bag right here. So it will give me such a great inspiration for all different designs. I don't know as you can see. So you're getting a lot of on your mixed bags. Sorry. Thank you, babe. And now keep in mind, you don't have to do beads on it. If you don't want to, just keep and tie the beads. Who care about the beads and don't do the beads. But if you want some cute beads on to make it look like a cute jewelry like setting, like look like a prong setting on your ring, then do so. But you don't have to if you don't want to or your clients, oh, I don't care the beads. I want all the crystal and sure. You can have all the crystal you want and then that's it. It's nice, simple, and easy, right? And it's so cute. All right, kill this beauty for a 60-second foon kill. Make sure foon kill if you kill for 10 seconds or the clients are so excited and pull the hand out back and forth. It's not going to be foon kill and it will charm to get it falling off. You probably don't remember because one was busy talking to clients and we don't remember the clients talk with the hand, you know? Make sure, I always, it doesn't matter. They can talk. They can talk to me during a, a, a time that we're doing the you know like on the uh process but always by the ends i always have them like completely here 60 second full gear so then they were not gonna miss a chance that like is gonna have a chance to coming off or anything else so uh one layer of the condensed blue gel, remember not too thick, not too thin. Too thick is flooded your crystal everywhere and it just like cover the whole entire crystal. Too thin, it's not going to adhere your crystal properly. So I'm gonna, I have this one. I'd like to try that one and see. I like this one, it's silver. You see the frame silver? I want something different. Like this one, it's cute. And then I love about how a uh, mixed bag that we have for the um, for the sub box lately. This different months have a different theme, and I'm so obsessed with this because it gives me so much of like frame beats. So it gives me a taste of like. And a different crystal kit that you are going to get that ours give it the taste of it. So then you can try it first before you ours commit this out into any of a really a good quality of crystal kits for your clients or for yourself. All right. For all the international watching, hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are really, really excited and we can't wait to have the international shipping option come back because a lot of you were emails and asking for the sub box to ship. We currently ship in uh, within US, Canada, Mexico, and Puerto Rico. So it's a lot of uh, Canada's. Bliss Lover, it was like really, really appreciate every single of you. Thanks so much for the trust, the love, and the support for past like four and a half years, like almost five years now. But it's like we'll mark as a four years. So, all right, that's about it. Nice, simple, easy. You can add more, 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 more. Like you can just add more on the size, however you would like enjoying it do it however you would like all right i am going to cure this beauty for 60 seconds i'm loving it it looks like a um necklace or chandelier or whatever it is 
All right. I love it. It's had all different mix designs and then like a centerpiece right here. I haven't touched it yet because it's going to be a lot of videos I'm going to share with you. So this first beauty is done. And then we're going to do the season glue gel right after we finish with our nails. And then on the next, which is the next one that we are going to do designs and we'll do another designs for that. Again, start with the condensed glue gel, not too thick, not too thin. Floating it right on the top of the chanfer foil image. I love it. You can also do that if you have sticker. You can do that sticker too. We have a 5D sticker. I love it. I was like, I really want to do some tutorial with that 5D gel as well. Floating if you know wipe top coat right after. Do not care. Condensed glue gels. This will help to finish when you're done finish it's nice smooth slick and completely done so you don't have to put the top coat all over your crystal which is gonna make the crystal is like dull and it's not going to adhere properly and this and after we're done is no tacky layers that you have to go between your crystal your beach your frame or anything else so on this one you know what's cute though i don't know you see I can put candy on it. Does that look cute? Well, a lot of you might get the bear. Is this a bear? <laughs> then your popsicle then. Just kidding. Why are you so mean with the bear? Okay, I just want like that. Just leave it like that. You know, I have a client that just want it just like that. That's it. You have a taste of everything. Like is like really elegant and a little bit a little bit fancier and then now this is like really i would say dope what about you say you think it's good mm -hmm. okay just leave it like that and then the condensed glue gel is really good and fix and then later we're using precision glue gels and we're going to seal around that okay 60 seconds Bye, bear. We're going to use her next. Who's so mean to the bear? Bear is so neat. Okay, put it on. And then we are going to do some uh, precision glue gels. And we'll wrap up with this three beautiful, simple, quick, easy crystal designs. As I say, you have to pick one items of your crystal designs. If you're looking for the crystal design tool, I would highly, highly recommend. And you will never go wrong with this. And you will really thank yourself for like doing a right thing and invest in it. Never go wrong. Condensed glue gels, no wet up coat, pre-season glue gels. Make sure you get them. They are the tri the trifecta. So they're all three together to make sure that is successful crystal design. So in the meantime, I'm waiting for the uh, uh, the last nail to kiss. I'm going to open the pre-season glue gels. When you each of them uh, come with the red cap and the other ends using the brush, if you need the larger area of the um, ceiling, you want to use that brush. You can op able to open that brush. Okay. So I'm go ahead and seal the beads. Make sure you seal it and then just seals around the crystal. You do not want to destroy the cut and the sparkle, the shines of your crystal. So go around. When you feel scratchy right here, you're going to squeeze that much. Just a little, a little go a long way. And then if you need to go seals again, make sure you key for 30 second flash key. And then go back and seal it again because I know that some of us will do a bigger crystal pieces for your clients. And if you have a bigger one, you can always go back and do more. One more time, two more times to until there's no, you know, like catching issues for your clients, you know, or for your nails. So I'm going to go ahead and seal like completely the frame right here, you see, and then the bead first. And then I am go around with the crystal around here. Check, check, check. Feel any, any of a scratchy, you're going to squeeze just that much, just a little bit, little go a long way. And I say it. If you can go back and seal some more, I'm going to seal it on the edges right here on the end of the bar to make sure that it's not catching anything. 
And then now we are going to cure this beauty for 60 seconds. And this is, oh, I forgot. You know what? I think it's glow in the dark. So it's really cool though. I totally is forgot about it. And our nude colors on the background of the nude velvety gel is not glow in the dark, but I totally spaced out and I forgot this is, um, I think it's this candy is glow in the darks. It's kawaii. It's so cute. It's, it's definitely a newest one that I love. It's perfect. It's good size. And it glow in the dogs. All right. So I think it's just glow in the dark. Just, I just saw that and then it changed the colors. So, okay. I'm going to seal, seal, seal. And then, you know, right here on the edges, I need more so I can key at 30 seconds and then go back and, and use some more of uh, precision glow gel. All right. Here, this beauty for 60 seconds. I'm going to close this lid back. Don't do it away. You want to definitely keep it. And it, even if you have in your desk closer to the window, but make sure you close everything so then it will not going to get in clock or dry out or get here. So that is three nails that we have at Precision Glue Gel. I'm going to show you first and then we're going to move on to the last nail. We're doing some cute, cute, cute Omega gels. Yeah. This is cute, huh? It's just so cute and simple. Simple and easy. All right. So let's this beauty sit in here for a second. We're doing a dragon's um fruit nails. And for the velvety gels, I am go ahead and using the no wipe top coat. I already have it open. We are going to you can do a background of foil, anything else you want, okay? It's I just happened that I gonna do just um The top coat for one second to just seal it and then i am going to so now there's a difference i'm going to show you and i'm going to explain it while we're doing it okay um i'm also have the little cute kind of a holo ghost chromes and any color of the chrome you want like if you have a purple one do so if you have uh, any colors, any color, any, any color. So Omega Gel. So this is a, one of the you can use Omega Gels. We're talking about there's a lot of questions asking about it. And you also see me do videos as well. See me live videos with the Velvet uh, with the Omega Gels as well. So I'm not using this Omega Gels. When you use Omega Gel, we are going, if you use it at the 40 Gels. So we are beside the really amazing magic it does for gel extension, which is I have it on as well. Um, it will do like a nail art for you. It will do the uh, 3D flowers for you, 3D designs or whatever 3D that you would like to create. So we are going to using the uh, 3D brush. Only you need a 3D brush. Okay. So I'm going to get like Omega gels and I'm just getting like a three beads, three little beads. You can do a different design. It doesn't have to be flowers. It can be anything. I'm not getting like three. It's no tacky layer and it's strong and durable. It will last good until whenever you are going to remove. So I'm going to go ahead and do three petals. So now, if you work just first start, you can definitely using the matte top coat to finish it. So then the chrome will not get into the, to the shiny top coat. But if you can do a shiny top coat, but the, make sure your chromes will not really um, going aggressive and too much into the nails. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you exactly what I am. But top coat on that is totally fine. Just getting it three pieces and it's no, it's not um, sticky on your nails at all. I mean, on when you're working on it. Make sure you are, um, wipe your hands really well after you touch that. 
I'm going to wipe mine. And then don't need any alcohol, nothing at all. Only you need and just a dual brush, 3D brush. This one, you can use it for your acrylics when you are going to scripting your flowers. This is for your Omega gel, 40 gel, 5D gels. Um, it's comes really nice and handy. So you get like all in one. So press it down, press it down because when the a tip of your 3D brush will design it small and precise with your design, press it down, let go, release it, and it's not going to stick it on it at all. And you press it in the center to create the, the um, light, I mean, the shape of your petal, your leaf, however you want. And then press it down and go, press it on the left, press it on the right, and let's go. And you don't, it looks, you can't see it though, I, but I don't know it's how, you, can you see it on the camera? How is that, how's that look? It's so cool though. I'm so obsessed with this. It's like when your velvety gel meet with the omega gels. And this is definitely is effortless. You don't have to do uh, so much. Press down and let go. Don't playing around and press it so much. It's going to set level. It's great for you. Press down. Soft, easy to use it, but it's no um, hassle at all. Press down. Let's go. Press down on the left. Let's go. Right. Let's go. And then you can create this so many different um, petals, different looks, roses, like daisy, or like you can do your sunflower. Do whatever you want. All right. Blend, 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 blend. And I'm blending right here. Guess what happened is Omega Gel. You can hold anything with the crystals on it too, um, especially with the 3D and the big crystals. If you want really like into the nails with crystal designs, you want to have uh, condensed glue gel. But if you want like a bigger pieces of crystal. So now, can you see it? It's like really transparent and really clear. If you want clear, leave it alone. If you want to get some chrome effects on it, now you can have fun with this. And I believe you can do it with yours. Like... Um, with your uh, pigments as well, like a uh, neon pigment and stuff. All right, so now, because it's still wet and I haven't touched anything, I mean, I haven't teared at all, I want to get the, you know what? I think it's a good one. It's a 3D though. It looks good, like 3D. Just pop up 3D right there. Yep, perfect, because I'm going to get you on to that too. I have some fur right there. Right there. You can put 3Ds on it, but however, I really want other things on it too. I want everything on it. Okay. And I'm gonna do, I do, I want a, the pink one too. And then I want another. This is the the 3D. It's like opal crystals that you come in your mix bag this month. Maybe I'll get the white one right there. It's so beautiful. That's it. All right. Leave it alone. We are going to cure this one for a 20, 30 seconds. It depends on your light if it here fast or slow all right perfect about the omega gel if you are not sure you want to like scripting it more less adjusting it before you here do so it will not dry until you are going to here and so can you see it from my camera all right here so this 20 seconds No, not yet. I'm going to do a chrome on it. It looks nothing. Okay, so chromes. Which one should I do? Should I ping one? Should I ping one? Maybe I'll do this one. Like to have a gold. You can do purple. You can do blue. You can do green. You can do however, whatever colors you have on your chromes. 
and pick just a smaller, just a little. If you don't have the brush, you can definitely use yours as makeup sponge, the old school way, work too. All right, 20 seconds. Is that 20 seconds? All right, so ready? And you can just rub it really, really gentle. Like you start seeing the colors now. Yeah. Just little. And you can do pink. You can do, I mean the chrome, you can do pink, you can do red, you can do green, you can purple, whatever colors that you want. And I was do only 20 to 30 seconds only because then if you're doing it full here, your chromes were not going to like adhere yours omega gel as you wish. There you go. You can seeing it like really cool though. It looks, looks really, really cool. You can add more, you can add more petals here if you want to. I am gonna add just a couple of the cute things on the on this nails. So now I'm gonna show you if you want to continue to do some crystal designs, we're gonna use this bestie crystal trifecta again. It's condensed glue gels, no wipe top coat, and precision glue gels. Okay. So let's add just a little bit. And also, I'm gonna show you when we're done with this, we're gonna seal the petals so then the chromes will not go anywhere but stay on that nails until we are going to remove it tinted brush pick the smaller amounts of condensed glue gels and i'm going to add some of the um cute like crystal around here and it's really cool stunning because this color dragon fruit is going to to uh change the colors and also glow in the dark so i'm gonna apply it here to where I will possible things, I'm going to add some cute little smaller crystals. And then no wipe top gold. No the open. So now when this we're going to do, we're going to apply it. No wipe top gold right on the floating on the top of the condensed glue gel. First. And we will go ahead and seals the chrome the petals that we just applied the chromes on okay and then we're gonna do and apply a couple frame on And then add some crystal on it. Ooh, that's cute. See, I have something. I like that there's a mixed one. It has a lot of cool elements that I can play with. Let's see what else I have. Oh, I have a leaf right there. Do you want to put some cute leaf right there? And some go beads. And you can go on and on if you want to add more, okay? You don't have to stop at where I am right now. You can add more. Okay. And now we are going to Kia for 60 seconds.
See, it's fun and easy with the Omega gel, right? I'm showing step by step, but when you have it on your hand, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And like how easy it is. There. Ooh, it's so much easier. And then you can put any of the colors, chrome you prefer. And then when the other ones is the last nail, there's a one with Omega gel is done. We are going to using precision glue gel to double secure all the crystal frame and charm. And then we are pretty much good to go. So when you're getting your kits, if you are your um, crystal pack, you have a lot of this frame and you want to get it shorter, go ahead and using the, uh, the crystal clipper removers and then you can cut it and it's just boop. It just cut in half or however length you would like to put it on the short nail, long nails client. So I've been cutting a couple of them for the nails. Um, so you can cut the length that you are desire. All right. So precision glue gel on the last beauty right here. So to keep it nice and precise, I'm going to seal this leaves completely. And then between the 3D crystal is was adhered so well with the Omega gels already. But I'm going to double secure it and then I'm going to seal this beads and then frame to make sure they are going to stay, not only stay, but like avoiding tarnish and anything else, like washing your hand, showers or cleaning or anything. Of course, you put gloves on, but still, you know. So, all right, so seal, seal, seal. And then now we're here and this beauty will be ready in like 60 seconds. Okay. Put the red cap back on. Make sure you're getting right from our like official website to get in the, get the right quality one. <laughs> So let's recap. We're so excited today. We did really, really awesome. Good. I'm so excited. We did like Azure's colors, quick, simple nails with the foil and crystal designs. And we have a nude, a velvety gels, and then we have a lemonade and also the dragon fruit. So every single of them, like whatever color you get is going to end up is really beautiful. Um, can I get that one? The, the nails. I have a water uh, melons. That's the one I did on the other day's tutorial. So if you missed it, don't worry. I saved them there. This is watermelons. When it's cold, when it warm, like it's will, a warmer temperature is going to change really cool. I'm going to show you, okay? Um, and there's 18 colors. So I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to see what colors in your box because I'm like so so excited to see so this one it was dragon fruit you see that how it changed the colors when it room temperatures like the temperature is getting a little bit warmer so and then let's put all this one in to here one more time this is the one i got and then today we did one two three four and then continue to do more designs for you as the next videos if you first time tuning in thank you so much for stopping by and if you want to get so many more of tutorial and you don't want to miss out all of them just make sure you follow us and turn on the notification so then when we have a live videos and any of posts or newest posts uh, with all different tutorials, you won't miss out. You're going to be a top of the lines and it's the uh, most trendiest nail lovers and is nail techs ever. Um, you, we always want to make sure you are like up to date with every trend, every single thing. So you not only enjoy wearing your nails or doing your nails, doing clients now, but you love what you're doing. Okay, ready? So we're going to see all the changing, not only changing color, but it's going to be glow in the dark. Um, so let me turn it off the light so it might be dark for just a second okay and then we're gonna be seeing all of this glow you see that except the nude does not grow the glow in the dark but it's the candy from the charms from the uh kawaii charms on your mix bag of this month is glow and then this one is watermelon that's the one right here i have my nails for in here the longer one is a watermelon that's the one i have and this one is azures and then lemonade and dragon fruit and this is a nude one that have the candy in there all right so let's turn the lights back on and the color is not only glow in the dark it's changing to as well as the room temperature and the temperatures 
it changing. So I'm going to turn the light back on. So I hope you're really enjoying as much as I do today. I'm so excited to see all of you again. And please enjoy a lot of tutorials. We've been really uh, having fun and working so hard to create it for you. So then you can enjoy whatever you do. Enjoy your um, nail journey, your careers. And also, it's not feeling burnt out because you have no one's got your back. So, Gliss is here and then continue to supporting you. And thanks so much for having us, you know, being a part of your journey. And thanks so much for a lot of love and support. We're so, so, so grateful and uh, for every single of you. And it's really a blast. So, we would love to, you know, give back to our community for a lot of you who are thinking about to become a nail tech or a nail lover or thinking about this in sometimes in in some some day some moment some minutes in your life you're thinking you are being a nail tech or you're thinking to be a nail tech and afraid to get in or you already a nail tech and then not sure you are in the right path this is absolutely for you and we wish you nothing but the best, you know. So you can always count on us and everything you feel like you are getting some ideas or thinking that is going to be a right to do or not or needs a lot of motivation, just, you know, hop back into our page, grab some cool, quick tutorials and have fun. And uh, definitely you can able to feel like refresh of whatever you do. And we know that you in the right career and the right path. And thanks so much for all the nails lover too. We're just really enjoying every single of you and can't you know, be here without every single of you. So enjoy the sub box of each month. We put a lot of love, work, hard works, and a dedication, passion, and love. And then most more is thinking of for every single one of you. Like, is this going to be so good for them? We was, we was have to make sure that it was be great and good benefits. And so you can enjoy it. Okay. So enjoy the sub box and don't miss out. When I say when a month is gone, a lot of email backs, a lot of clients are like, you know, I really want to get that box. Can I get that box? When the box is um, and the cycles is no longer coming back because we have so much more in so many box in the future to moving on. So then we unfortunately we don't have like the previous box. So don't miss out with definitely you have so much in your box without breaking your bank. And I have to say that I have to promise it like that. It's just amazing. So please enjoy your box for me because I have my box enjoy it so much. I was so soaked with the colors that you're chasing. And I'm so excited what you are getting on your box, okay? So have fun and have a fabulous Wednesday. Be safe. Take good care of yourselves. And you definitely can find all the products that you see on our official websites and link right in bios. And also your box, the box is available right now. So it, and a really quick shipping, fast shipping is right to your door in like a couple of days. So Thanks so much to all Gliss Babe. And I would definitely gonna see you in the next live videos. If you miss any of videos or if you like to see any of the video clip tutorial, don't hesitate to um DM if you couldn't find anything because we have a thousand. We have almost getting to a uh, two thousand of videos on all Crocs platform to support every single of you, every single day, every single hours, every single minute. Um, and don't hesitate to DM and we will be here to to help you to help you. Okay. So final look. And then before we say bye, can you see it though? For a second, right there. Ah, where is the dragon fruit? Oh, this one is a dragon fruit. Uh, hold on. Let me see. If I say your handle, is that Cat Nia? Did I say it right? Cat Nia. All right. So here is dragon fruit. So it's changing colors because when it getting, it's key is getting warmer. So it's that dragon fruit. But when it getting back into room temperature, it's going to be darker. Like when you see the at first one, I apply it on. Yes. All right. So here you go. And if you enjoy your box so much and you want to get more of velvety gels, you will definitely can search it on the velvety gel categories. This is a whole entire look at the omega gels versus to our uh 
velvety gel. It's like four times bigger than this. And then it's 12 times bigger than yours at 40 gels. You see how huge it is. We'll give you like a 30 set of this at least. Um, and at 30 set, I'm sorry, 30 set of a long nails and then 50 set of the short nails from these jars. All right, to all my love, I'm looking forward to see you in the next live video. Oh, that is what I am. Thank you so, so much, okay, for uh, tuning in. And uh, thanks so much, Dom. Thank you, thank you. I'm not sure if I miss anyone, but hey, thanks so much. And I love all of you, and thanks so much for tuning in. And we'll see you in the next live video. Bye.